Hi, my love, beautiful souls of Mystic Rose of Love and Love. I'm back with you, bringing dark into light. Please take what resonates and leave it as not for somebody else. Cut the reading, not for stream. Okay, I'm gonna jump into this, you guys. Okay, so someone that has betrayed you, attacked you, bullied you, manipulated you, gaslighted you, somebody you could have been in a relationship with, someone you were friends with, a family member, a co worker, a colleague. Uh, a student, whatever it is, somebody you were connected to, um, you exchange energy with, uh, you communicated with, okay, again, like connected to, okay, they have a gin attached to them, okay, a gin, okay, if you want to look it up, if you can look more in detail about a gin, um, you can go and Google and do your research on that, okay, um, but that's why I'm hearing the gin, and gins, one thing I um, can say is gins can do good and evil, okay, and gins, and people don't know that they have a gin, okay, so I'm hearing this person that has, like, bullied you, manipulated you, uh, they don't know that they have a gin, but the gin knows them, okay, the gin has taken host in them, okay, gins can, uh, shift into human beings and gins can shift into animals okay and that's what i'm hearing is this person has a gin attached to them okay gins also represent fire okay fire somebody does a lot of fire magic okay they work with fire uh this person is possessed by a gin okay they're possessed by a gin and they took the this the gin took a form of them okay and this is somebody like i said you connected with i am hearing somebody i'm hearing more as a really like a best friend, close friend, or a intimate uh, partner, okay, somebody you were intimate with, okay, this person is the one that uh, hurt you, betrayed you, okay, did things to you that, you know, was not kind, was not kind, but they do know right from wrong, and they have free will, okay, so this person, this human being that has a gin attached to them, does know right from wrong, good and evil, okay, and they just chose to be evil, okay, so this gin chose to be evil this human chose to be evil okay um again they they don't realize that they have a gin attached to them okay they're if they do they're blinded by it and i'm hearing something about maybe you knew they had some kind of attachment and see attachment you knew something was off something was different about this person like this person may be very spiritual too uh and know things but you're like okay there's just something different, and this is maybe why you were guided to this video if you clicked on this video, okay? Because you're like, oh, wow, this just clicked, okay? Yeah, now I see this person is one that had a gin attached to them, okay? They can do good or evil, so this person can be actually doing good things and bad things, okay? They can do good or bad, okay? So they could, when I'm dealing with this person that uh, could have hurt you, betrayed you, they thought they were kind of trying, I'm hearing they thought they were trying to be nice to you, and they thought they were trying to be your friend or your partner, and they thought they could have been loving you and stuff like that, but instead they were actually being cruel and mean and rude to you and disrespectful and using you, taking advantage of you is what I'm hearing too, okay? Um, they do have extraordinary powers too, so this, this, this jinn inside this person does have powers and jinns come from islam as well like is islamic islamic okay so you may need to know more i don't know a lot about that religion and stuff like that okay i don't know um i could have done a lot more research but i wanted this message out because i uh totally um didn't want to miss this message because i actually heard it after we went to church and i was sitting outside with cherish um playing for a little bit i heard it and i'm like dang i need to get this but i made lunch and so i wanted to get this message out um Jinns also will marry, produce children, and eat, drink, just like human beings, okay? So they'll get married, okay? They'll put on a show. They'll look like they're happy. This person will look like they're happy, and they'll, you know, just do the thing, but they have this attachment, this gin attached to them, okay? As I said, fire. They have free will, okay? They have free will to do good or evil. Okay, and they choose, this gin chooses to do evil. Okay, that's what I'm hearing, this gin chooses to be, do evil. Okay. And they do magic, okay, they're also capable of performing magic. So this person does magic, this person does black magic, okay. Dark magic, negative intent, wishing ill on other people. They, they're very knowledgeable, okay, intellectual as well. And I'm also hearing... Jins actually like to attach to uh, writers, songwriters, uh, people that write lyrics, okay? So some of these celebrities out there that's writing a certain music and stuff like that, uh, independent sing songwriters and stuff like that, um, they they have a gin attachment, okay? So I, I'm literally, wow, I just heard, okay. So you got we got some celebrities out there that uh, 
could have a gin attached to them because that's why they have really good writing song writings okay um they get there's there's like a muse okay because they have a gin attached to them as well as hearing I'm channeling right now, so I'm not pulling cards. And if you don't like that, I know somebody that was commenting telling me that I need to start pulling cards. Um, again, it does not say tarot channel, so I'm just telling you that. I'm channeling right now. I'm listening to spirit. So sometimes we need silence to listen to spirit. What else we need to hear? Okay. So, again, like I heard fire. Okay, this person could have a lot of fire. It could be black and red. It could be significant to somebody as well, okay? Because they took a physical form. So they took a host in a human being, okay? They took a host in this person that you're watching this video about. So if it's your boyfriend, girlfriend, brother, sister, bro dad, mom, child, whatever, they that they took a host in your your person, okay? And when you knew this person, this person may not have had a chin attached to them when you first met them, but some somehow along their journey or along your journey, a jinn decided to take them as host, okay? Astro body. Jinns also can like, um, it can be considered like a genie, you guys. I'm, you know, like a genie and can like grant wishes or make you feel like you grant wishes. So like, that's why I was like hearing like songwriter, writer, a, could be a blogger, journalist too. Like, you know what I mean? You guys, I don't know if you ever watched the show what, Evil. It's on Paramount, the show Evil. Um, there's only like four seasons of her. They have a gin in there and it, this gin, um, is fire um, and it makes people do something. I should have thought about that before when I was watching the show in the past and pulling that. Uh, but gins, you may want to look into that, okay? Watch the show, too, and gins because um, they're fire and stuff like that. And uh, a lot of people don't realize they have one attached to them, okay? They don't. The gin knows. The gin knows that they're in a human form, but the human doesn't know, okay? The human doesn't know. And um, with language, like, they'll speak English, they'll speak Spanish, they'll speak, you know... Whatever it is, whatever, whatever they're the body that they're in, ho they're hosted in. That's the language they can speak. Okay, so if they're in a, a American body, they're gonna speak English. If they're in a Spanish body, they're gonna speak Spanish. Okay, and also you know like there's other languages as well. They they know how to um, change the language. Okay, whatever the host they're in as well. Okay, it's about consciousness too. Okay. I am hearing jinns are considered demons as well. Like they'll call, call them gene, de demons. If you look at, I'm, I'm hearing if you go to like the Catholic religion and stuff, Catholic religion will talk about jinns and stuff like that. Um, I'm not sure. Okay. I don't really go into Catholic or anything like that. Okay. Um, I'm also hearing some like the Vatican. Okay. I just heard something about the Vatican. Okay. Knows about jinns. They know about supernatural. They just keep it from the people. Okay. They don't want people to know. So there's things that are that, that but you may want to look into that. Okay. The reason I'm here too with the gin, this gin, maybe this could this could have been somebody you were in a relationship with. They could have wanted to marry you because they want to take hosts so they can create babies, okay? So they can actually, you know, have sexual affairs with you or someone um, so they can produce offspring, okay? Produce offspring. So this, if you were in a relationship with this this person, that could be why they wanted to get with you is because they were their gin and they wanted to produce offspring. I'm hearing revenge, okay? This could have been a revengeful person as well. Revengeful person with this gin. Darkness. But yeah, this gin, this gin, gin chose to be evil, not good, okay? And it could have promised, it, this gin could have promised someone to, could have promised this host, okay? You're going to be famous. You're going to have this. You're going to have that. I'm going to give you this. I'm going to give you that. Allow me to host. And like not even really consciously knowing, okay? Because this, this person doesn't consciously know. know it. So somebody that you were in connection with, entangled in, also entangled in, could have said this to you. Said, hey, you know, we're going to go this far. We're going to do this. We're going to be able to do this. I'm going to, you know, I can promise you this. And it wasn't possibly the human. It was the, the jinn telling them that, okay? The jinn was telling them to do things. Someone, this person that has a jinn has migraines, okay? I'm hearing this person that has a jinn attached to them has heavy migraines, okay? They may end up seeing like a doctor. Um, they're getting really, really bad migraines, okay? I'm also hearing this jinn likes to live in darkness. So this dark jinn doesn't like to come out in public, okay? Doesn't like to come out in public or like in the light, okay? So if they come out, they come out at night 
pretend when the sun goes down, okay? When the moon comes out, comes out, the sun goes down. Is when they like to come out, if they do come out. If not, they, this gin may also not to like be around all people. This gin, um, this gin will, I, I'm hearing lyrics. I keep hearing lyrics, okay? Lyric storytelling as well, storytelling, okay? This person that has this gin um, was attacking you and also now and it has a lot of anxiety, Okay, like I'm seeing shadow, they're seeing shadow people. Their eyes may turn like fire-ish, okay? So you may see it in their eyes. Their eyes might be black as well. This 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 person may wear a lot of black, dark black, even purple. Okay, dark, dark colors. This gin can take form of a female or a male, okay? It's not always female. It can be a form of a female or a male. Someone may need an exorcism with this gin, okay? This this person that is hosted with this gin, this gin hosted inside this possessed, they may need some kind of exorcism or some kind of really heavy healing, okay? Finding God, believing in God, because it is a demon. May need to reach out to a preacher or pastor to remove this, this gin, okay? To remove this gin demon. They're not, like I said, remember, they're not aware. So this human's not really aware, okay, of this gin attached. And, like, someone may, I'm also hearing, like, somebody may have told this person, you know, you have, like, a demon or something attached to you. And this person's like, no, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. They're in denial. And that's what the gin is telling them, okay? So the gin's telling this person to do things, okay? How to act, how, how to do things, okay? This gin is telling this person what to do and what not to do. Okay, we have a Queen of Swords inverted. Okay, this could be a cold-hearted manipulator. Death. Okay, so they, this this gin needs to die. Okay, this gin needs to be removed. This gin needs to die. Death. Um, this gin also may have had caused people some kind of death. Okay, sickness, death. Um, I'm here. It's time to transform. It's time to let go. It's time to surrender to the Most High. Yep, has a hidden agenda. Has a hidden agenda. It's sneaky. Revenge phone. Plays mind tricks. And again, like I said, I'm hearing migraines, severe migraines. I'm hearing could be having like hearing problems. Um, it could be having, you know, some kind of medical symptoms, symptoms and stuff. But mainly bad, bad, bad migraines. Okay. The light bothers them. Okay. It bothers them. They also can have skin condition too. So like... They could end up being allergic to the sun because of this, okay? And like I said, because they are on fire, okay? And they're orange, black, and red are significant colors here, okay? Orange, black, and red, fire colors, flames. You don't have to be Islamic, Islamic, okay? I'm hearing you don't have to be Islamic to have a jinn. You can be Christian, you can be um, Buddhist, you can be, you know I mean, any religion. You can still have a jinn attached to you, just not realizing some other people just call it different demons, okay? So, we'll give an example of me. I like to put examples of me. I'm not Islamic, but I could still, I could I could have in the past had a jinn attached to me, okay? When I had a demon, I had a jinn, I could have in the past had a jinn attached to me, even though I'm not Islamic, okay? Even though I am American and I am um, I'm ominous and per, uh, ominous spirituality okay um so it doesn't mean that you have to be islamic or you have to be in the middle east to be have a jinn attached to you okay or take host this jinn can choose who to t take host with it with anyone it's time to get away it's time to move on it's time to get the frick out of here okay this this jinn needs to be removed it needs to leave so somebody can have some light um happiness joy okay this is you wanting happiness joy they're trying to dim them here and they're trying to dim your light this jinn was trying to dim your light like, again, I said this Jin may have thought they were trying to do good, but they're doing more damage. Okay, more evil than good. They're doing more evil than good. Okay, you could be a warrior. And that's why I'm, I'm, I'm hearing you getting out of Dodge. Okay, you're getting away from this Jin. You, you try to clear your energy from this Jin to go into happiness. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. You wanted to call back your power. Get balance. Take your power back. 
This gin was draining. This gin could have been draining you too. Taken from you. Okay, this could be a karmic mother you were dealing with. That's a gin. A Virgo. Maybe you didn't want to believe this person could be a gin either. They didn't want to. You're getting a new beginning, fresh start, taking that leap of faith. Because you're going within. This is somebody from your past. Could be from your childhood. You could be remembering this, the memories, okay, of this with this person. Coming back, flashbacks coming back, I'm hearing. Okay, flashbacks coming back. Of how this person treated you. Okay, this could be a confirmation right here. Of how this person treated you now, like, with you guys in this video. And you're like... Okay, something's different. They had an entity attachment. Something's going on. You know, they're gang stalking me, bullying me, manipulating me. They're a narcissist. They're treating me like crap. They're, they're you know, disrespecting me, abusing me. And now this is clicked. Like, this is clicked. Like, you're like, wow. I remember what they did. That Yeah, th that had been a gin. Okay? That's why they were acting that way. That's why they wanted me to do that. Okay? They weren't acting the, the normal stuff. They weren't acting, you know, as a human being. So this gin could have been... Okay, I'm hearing too. I'm hearing this gin was already attached to this person before you met them or someone and then i'm hearing for some of you guys this gin was attached after you met them okay so if they if you were around this person connected to this person this person was different and then all of a sudden like they started changing it's because the gin attached them afterwards okay but if you met this person this person was already you know doing these things the gin was already attached to them okay so that's how you'll know if this gin was before or after is if they started changing Okay, they started changing how they're doing things. And I'm hearing people that are, um, and this is not for everybody either, okay? People that are, have like addictions, alcohol, stuff like that, um, obsession, um, are more likely for a gin to jump in the body to host, okay? To take advantage because uh, it's, or and I'm hearing fear, okay? Uh, this The gin likes to jump into a body, a host, um, because they're in fear, okay? So they can, you know, control them cause more fear in their life so this gin may be causing more fear in this person's life instead of faith because as i'm getting this gin is an evil gin okay i'm not getting this gin is a, a good good gin may have started out gyms this one's the evil gin and so this person's living in fear okay negativity anxiety stress low vibration frequency okay depression could have mental health or addiction okay and that's why this gin took this this body as a host it's a spirit, okay? Jin is a spirit too, a demonic spirit. There's a tower. Okay, we have change coming out. Somebody's intellectual, like I said, very smart. We have the king of war swords on the bottom. Somebody is very s smart, logical too. Okay, and jinns are, when getting with this, this jinn is, jinn is very smart, okay? Intellectual, logic, okay? They know how to manipulate, they know how to move in between things, like, um, they know how to shift, okay? Yep, see, something about you taking back your power, you're moving away, okay? Standing in your power, okay? Standing in your power. If you're the one that has this gin attached, it's time to stand in your power. It's time to start calling out to God, asking God for healing, asking God to remove this gin, asking for an exorcist, exorcism, okay? Praying to the Most High. Okay, this, I'm getting your energy, High Priestess Cancer, which is called back power. That could be why this gym could have been attacking you. It's because you are the high priestess. But I'm also hearing this gym wanted to get in bed with you to pro, um to produce offspring. Yep, it's time to you take a different direction, okay? Planting your seed somewhere else. Okay, they were trying to plant, okay, this is too, they were trying to plant seeds with you, with the lover. This high priestess, that's what they wanted. Okay, and it could be this king of swords, okay, that could be a king of swords that's a gin, has a gin that wanted to plant these seeds with the high priestess, okay? Wanted to procreate, um, to bring offspring. Because of the seven pentacles, it's a different direction, but it's also planting seeds. Yep. Magician too. See, they're very magical. They can create things. They can um, manifest things as well. 
okay? Jins are very creative, like I said, with the, like, their different storytelling. Um, not when I heard, I remember the Jin I said about, like, songwriting, writing. Somebody that's, like, a director or, like, an actress or actor has a Jin attached to them, too. Okay? Somebody that can write a director, producer, um, I'm hearing even, like, the entertainment world, Okay? I'm hearing a lot, okay, if you're not connected with the entertainment world, I'm hearing a lot of the people in the entertainment world has gins attached to them. Okay, that's how they're so creative. And they don't even realize it, okay? They don't even realize it. This gin can be trying to sacrifice hangman on the end. Or if someone needs to let go of this gin, this energy. Okay, it could be sabotaging, causing illusion, okay? That's what they're doing. This gin is causing an illusion. We have a king of wands coming out too. So authority figure stepping in. They could be of authority as well, okay? They could be some kind of authority as well. King of wands. There's that fiery energy too. So I'm hearing Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Trying to take your happiness, okay? I'm here and trying to take your happiness. I'm going to keep it like that. It's time to move on, okay? Move on. We have an Emperor coming out too. There's okay, so Authority figure, King of Wands, and Emperor. Authority, leadership. Yep. Okay, they could be receiving some kind of karma. They're keeping a lot of secrets. Oops. And as I said, Emperor is Aries. So I said Aries just may go. Pisces. This is a karma, which is um the moon here. Actually, this one might be junk. We'll do that. Oh my god. Judgment. Okay, this gin is under judgment. The, the 22 here's karma, it's judgment. Care, okay, okay? So this gin's under judgment by the most high. And can you guys, there's an anxiety again. Depressed. Now you know who you're working with. Now you know who you're uh, involved with, okay? That Holy Spirit just told me it's your guide. Now you know who you're involved with, who this person is. They have a jinn. It's a jinn attachment. Okay, I'm here because you, you didn't know. There's a king of swords again. Somebody logical. This gin could be signing documents. Okay, false document, falsifying documents, lying, forging documents, forgery. They're smart. They're really, they're really smart. Okay, somebody could be IT too. Okay, AI, IT, um, a hacker. Okay, this hack, it could be a hacker that has this gin attached to them too. Okay, or they're multitask, like, or they're, they, they could be a, they could be a hacker to a writer, to a director, to a pro producer, like, they have many job titles, okay, this gym can make, they have many job titles, okay, they don't just have one occupation, one career path, they have several, some of the distant future, moving away, getting away, running away, leaving, yeah, this is somebody that abused you, is your enemy, this gin is your enemy, abuse, so you could have somebody coming in with a love offer as well or this gin could try to come in for a love offer you gotta be careful okay be careful because this person could be coming back you could already walk away from this gin and they're trying to come back and try to give you a love offer or trying to keep you away from a love offer that could be that could be doing spell work to keep a love offer from coming, coming in fruition Thank you. Thief. This gin could be a thief. They want to steal. They want to take. It's 
Some of you thought you trusted. Okay, some of you thought you trusted. Some of you didn't. You thought you trust this person. Okay, you thought you trust you trust this this gin and like I see you need to move on in the distant future. You're moving on. Take a nap. She tired of sleeping. She, she wants to. Yeah, then let her. Yeah. Okay. Let her take a nap. Yeah, because it's early. Conflict. They cause conflict in your life too. This gin is intentionally. This gin was intentionally causing conflict in your house. In, in your house, it could be in your house, in your life. Okay, causing drama, discord, destruction. And you could be the nice guy. Could be nice guy. This person could also act. This gin could act nice. Okay, they could act nice to your face, all sweet, kind, loving, gentle. You know, and then all of a sudden your life's falling apart or something like chaos, drama, conflict in your life. And it's this gin. Okay? They put on a show that they're this nice person, this nice guy. Okay? Or nice woman. And then, boom. Something's happening in your life. It's because of this gin. It could have been somebody you were in a relationship with. Could have been doing death magic. Or death magic on somebody you love, you care about. We have intuitive cab, which means intuition. Okay, so high priestess here coming out again. Um, you could be very intuitive. Or like, that's the thing. I'm hearing something about you were intuitive and you're like, something's off. Something's not right. Okay, I don't know what's going on, but something's not right about this uh, this person. Like, okay, it's not just a demon. There's something more than just a demon here. There's more than just a demon. Like, this is something more. That's why I say that you need to Google, do your research on jinns. Okay, do your research, do Google. Even if you're not Isl Islamic or um, they still have a, they, they can still have a jinn. Okay, you can still have a jinn. Or person. So, okay. I'm here to be careful too because this person's really good at playing mind games, okay? It could be mind fucking, okay? They're good at manipulating because, like, like I said, they're very intellectual, okay? They're, they're logical, okay? They know how to mind fuck. They know how to manipulate, manipulate energy as well. Manipulate the surroundings, okay? I just heard manipulating surroundings as well. So places and stuff like that cause a huge illusion because they're 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 a master magician, okay? Dark magician, but they're a master at it. Jins are masters at it, okay? Again, they're like a genie, okay? So like a genie in a bottle, like a genie, they can grant they can say they can grant wishes, okay? Some names. five okay so you guys i'm also sitting here that they can take form of a child too they use they they don't a lot but they can okay they could take form of a child or they, they want to take form of a child okay or they manipulate children okay so be careful with that um so divine masculine you could be dealing with this divine masculine denial for a loan so we got denied for a loan because some kind of forgery some kind of um false document falsifying documents so if you were to go apply for a loan and got denied because somebody was opening accounts okay forging your name signatures you may want to look into that packers Adelaide, I don't know why I'm doing that, but Adelaide, Jody, Milwaukee, sex trafficking, so the sex trafficking can be involved, Ashland, James, Dion, Devils Control the Music World, okay, Jins Control the Music World too is what I'm hearing, okay, Doug, Germany, K1, I want to be sober with you, so someone wants to be sober with you, okay, they want to get sober, clean Bentley, Someone could drive a Bentley with the name Bentley. Tate Anderson. Somebody's from Greece. Craigslist. Be careful on Craigslist. Somebody drives a Ferrari with the name of Ferrari. That lie hurts, so they can lie too. They'll lie and manipulate. Okay, so that lie may hurt you. Jones. Somebody could be jonesing. Corey. I am doing a lot of prayers and spending time at altars. So that's what you're doing. Okay? You you're 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 meditating, praying. Worshiping God, um, taking care of yourself, putting yourself first, self-love, and so you're spending a lot of time at your altar praying and manifesting and all that. Charles or Charlie, Jamaica, tow truck, something from a tow truck, someone could be a tow truck driver. Helen, Georgia, Rudiso Police Department, Rudiso, New Mexico. 
it's Rudy So Police Department, Rudy So New Mexico. Family members took stole your inheritance. Okay, that's confirmation from yesterday's reading is coming out. Okay, and that could have been a gin behind all that. Okay, this this gin individual that you have, this gin, has split personalities. That could be why too. So one moment they're acting differently, and then the next moment they're acting different. Okay, they may even also give you two different names. This gin. Okay, so um, when they're not in the the gin is like disappear, like they don't fully disappear, but like comes in out of consciousness. So if your person that you're, uh, you know, connected with, the person that was connected with and was doing all this stuff, they acted normal. And then all of a sudden later on, they acted differently and they said that they're different. They were giving their different name or had nicknames. So like that, because of split personality, the gin can come and go consciously. Okay. And that's why this person may not even be aware of it. Okay. Of this gin. Bosnian government. Donovan. Harrison. San Andreas Fault Line, Devon, London, someone has piercing or someone could be a piercer, like they pier um, do piercings. Salem, 444 four is a higher purpose, inner wisdom, nothing to fear, success, confidence, goals. So if you are now thinking, oh, I have a gin inside me, I know a gin is a host in me, just pray. Pray, pray, pray. That's why, you know, don't fear anything, okay? If this, if you feel like this person is the one that has a gin, just pray. Pray for them. Okay, again, everyone's like there's that person that commented said, oh, you're, you're inflicting harm or you're um, you're instilling fear in people's lives when you do these messages. No, okay, people hate the truth. People are scared of the truth. I'm bringing awareness. Okay, I'm bringing awareness. I'm bringing the truth so you can be prepared for yourself. So you can be alert. So you can be aware. So you can, you know, keep an eye out and stuff like that. And you can do research and study and all that stuff. Okay, so and if you have faith and you believe in God, faith over fear. Okay, so if you feel like you have a, a gin attached to you or you feel like the, the person that you're with or somebody you're connected to that has this gin, just pray for them. Okay, pray for yourself, pray for them. Okay, pray for the gin to, re to be removed, okay, to release. Or like I said, there may be an exorcism as well. Okay, um, 404 is also like a foundation, stability, family. Okay, honesty. Get outside with mother nature. It's nice out. They mad at your success, okay? So they could be mad at your success. I just keep hearing a lot. If you know somebody that's a writer or a blogger or a songwriter or a rapper or a singer, an artist, whatever, um, if you're the one that knows that, that person has a gin attached to them. Okay? That, that, that person has a gin. And then, like, fiery. Okay? And you may have had some kind of vision of this in, the, in a dream or something like that. You may have seen this. Or if you all of a sudden start seeing this, another sign too is all of a sudden you start seeing gins everywhere, or like the name gin, okay, like the name gin, or you start seeing people on show on TV shows that all of a sudden now you're like, um, all these shows have gins. It's because you you have a gin attached to you, or you have somebody connected to you that has a gin attached to you. It's spirit showing you, giving you a message to sign. If you start seeing someone drinking gin or liquor that says gin on it, and that's not how you spell gin. The gin that you see, the demon is J I N N, but if you start seeing J or G I N or anything like that, um. That's a sign as well, okay? To pay attention to the signs around you, the messages, okay? DNI, Director of National Intelligence. Concussion. Someone had a concussion. Drug deal gone bad. Shay. Cherish. Shane. And Grandma Violet or Grandma or Violet. I'm going to look because I heard that a gin can take form in a child. I'm going to see if it said that. Give me a second, it's loading. Inside they have a lot of darkness. Oh well, okay, so yes, I am I am right. Okay, so it's crazy. So gins can take form in a child. Yes, gins are said to be able to take the form of humans including children jinns are supernatural spirits that are believed to be made up of thin supple bodies that can change shape at will they are often described as resembling wait hold on guys i gotta take this okay guys um sorry i hate to take that fellow realtor okay so yeah so they can come into the children um 
Jinns are also said to prefer to live in tribes with their own kind, similar to those of pre-Islamic Arabia, Libya. They are said to rarely interfere in human affairs, but may engage in sexual relations with humans and produce offspring. If injured by a human, they may seek revenge or possess the assailant's body requiring exorcism. The term genie was first used in 1704, French translation of One of Thousands and One Nights by Anton Gallen, and is often associated with wishing granting Dijins. The term Ifrit and Merid are typically used to refer evil jinns. So for an evil jinn, it's Ifrit and Merid. Marid, Merid. Used for evil. So genie. Damn, this kind of you guys, it's kind of reminding me like freaking genie in the bottle, you know what I mean? Like or the Aladdin movies now almost, like taking form and stuff. So this person could have been trying to grant wishes and stuff and like, giving, giving, giving your hopes up. But they can take form of children as well. Okay? So, let's close this out. Can take form of a child. Pray for your children. Okay? Pray for your children. Triumph lies. This djinn is lying. Okay? This djinn is... I, I'm hearing pathological liar can lie to you. Lie to you. Lie to others. And lying to the, the host as well. Okay? Is hiding true self. Okay? This djinn is hiding who they truly are. This human being is hiding who they truly are. They're, they're hiding... There's a black and red. And in regret. Okay, you could be in regret. You could be in regret that you were even attached to this person or encountered or entangled in this person. Okay, connect to this person. Living in regret. Jin, this this person, this host, this gin that's in this host of this human also could be in regret of things that they've done. Especially what I'm hearing, especially when the gin is removed. Okay, when there's exorcism, this person may feel a lot of regret. So this person may end up having an exorcism or, you know, the demon, the djinn leaves. And this person may end up feeling a lot of regret, remorse, regret. I'm hearing black, red, and purple still again, okay? I keep hearing black, red, and purple, significant colors. Shadow. Shadow. Depth. Someone's not seeing their shadow. Someone's not seeing. Okay. They could be trying to tell you a blessing to be careful. Okay. Because blessings coming out. Blessing. Or you're receiving some kind of blessing because you've seen this. You've got away from this. We have acceptance in hell. This person could be living in hell. Okay. Somebody may finally accept it too. Or you're accepting that you were attached to a, a jinn. Or this person is attached to a jinn. I just keep hearing prayer. Twenty six, love life full of joy and happiness, unconditional love. Okay, in thirteen thirteen, growth, progress, new beginnings, communicating with the world around you, and spiritual side trust. Okay, trust. Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Taurus, and number seven. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Leo, number seven. So we have a lot of earth signs coming out too. So something about getting grounded. Stay grounded. Get grounded, okay? Um, be with Mother Earth. Be with nature, okay? Um, when you ground yourself, you're able to release negative energy back into the earth as well as transmuting it, okay? Something about you may be an alchemist as well, okay? You could be an alchemist and this is why this jinn... Okay, so you could be an alchemist and this jinn could have wanted to have a relation with you. Because this gin wanted to produce offspring because you're an alchemist. So you have a lot of magical powers too. You bring dark into light. Okay. You bring negativity and positive into positive stuff. Okay. So that could be why this gin really wants something, wants to procreate. If this is a relationship, it's because of the gift that you have. They want their offspring to have that. Okay. And if being an alchemist, that's, that's, that's high magic. Okay. That's, that's. Powerful, powerful magic there. Transmuting energies. Something negative into a positive or transmuting, you know, lead into gold. Okay? So, they want you for something. And if it's not a relationship as boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, it's still a friend, a friend too. So, if there's a friend or a family member, the reason this friend, this person wanted to be your friend or wanted to work with you, be a partner with you, or have a job with you, or start a business with you, it's because of what you have. Okay, there's something that you can give this person, this gin. But then this gin is also trying to offer you, you know, saying, well, I can do this for you. I can give you this. I can give you that as long as you do it this way. 
So, manipulation there too. I hope this helps. I love you guys. Love, peace, light, heal, namaste.